One of the questions I'm asked most frequently is what are the most powerful and impactful fundraising books? That's what we're addressing in this week's Productive Fundraising Weekly Journey. So you guys are used to seeing me out in nature because that's where I love to be. That's where we film most videos. But this week I need props. I need the books that I recommend. So we're here in my home office and I'm just going to dig in and show you my favorite fundraising books and uh, tell you a little bit about why and uh, we'll go from there. So let's get started. As you can see, I don't have a giant bookshelf. I, I have a few books that I keep. Most books I read and then I pass on to somebody else or I resell. Uh, I only keep the real gems in my mind that I'm actually gonna go back to again. Um, so you see, I got this tiny little stack right here and we're gonna just go right through it. So first book I love, I love The Fundraiser's Guide to Irresistible Communications, Real World Field Tested Strategies for Raising More Money. This is Jeff Brooks awesome insight, all the little intricacies of writing fundraising direct mail, how to actually get your envelope opened, your letter read, and people to respond. Great book. A classic. Fundraising, evaluating and managing the fund development process by the legend, Jim Greenfield. The key thing about this book and why I keep it around is the evaluating word. Uh, Jim's where I uh, created the nine point performance index for fundraising appeals, which I teach and encourage people to use. I have a template for that in the fundraising resources library. This is where it comes from. Uh, great stuff, um, all kinds of metrics, um, a true classic. In many offices around the world, getting things done, Technically not a fundraising book, but I would argue you need a productivity system. That's why it's called uh, Productive Fundraising is our company name. We view that productivity piece just as important as the fundraising itself. It lets you get more done in less time, lets you work smarter, not harder. Getting Things Done by David Allen, just one possible system of productivity for you. Can be pretty structured for some people. If you're more of a creative type, you might want to just take elements. If you love detailed structure, this is the way to go. Getting things done. Never eat alone and other secrets to success, one relationship at a time. Keith Ferrazzi, great networking book. I think this is the best networking book I've ever seen. You know, how to take that time one on one with people, uh, make it productive, uh, be authentic, be genuine, be a giver, not a taker, and how to make your network work for you. Penelope Burke. Donor Centered Fundraising. She's had a few since then. This is her first book. One of the first real research-based studies on actually what's working in fundraising. Not just theory, but we're actually gonna do a massive survey, figure out what donors want. Kind of the start of the donor-centered, donor-love movement. Uh, a great classic. This one I affectionately call the Bible. Uh, this is Conducting a Fundraising Program by Kent Dove. Uh, you can see the size. This, uh, when I was in college and took a fundraising course, this was the textbook. Um, and you know, while it looks intense, the first half is theory, the whole second half is templates, um, samples, what things look like. That's why I keep it around. I love the back of this book, uh, just when I need a quick down and dirty template on what something looks like in fundraising. It looks like my stack is empty, but there should be two more items. Uh, they are out on loan to other fundraisers that I recommended the book and, and loaned it to them. But uh, I did some printouts for you guys just so you can see what the cover looks like. The first is Making Money with Donor Newsletters by the legend Tom Ahern. Uh, Tom's a great guy. He is the expert on donor newsletters, also fundraising writing, um, best copywriter out there uh, for fundraising appeals. This is uh, a great book, um, kind of the how-to on newsletters, why you need a newsletter, what should go in it, and how to make it actually uh, have good ROI for you. And the final one, Building Donor Loyalty. The Fundraiser's Guide to Increasing Lifetime Value by Adrian Sar Sargent and Elaine J. Uh, Adrian Sargent, 
probably the foremost current researcher in fundraising. Uh, if you haven't seen him present, it's a lot of fun. He makes, he makes research fun and really gives you what you need to implement right away. Uh, a great book where he kind of outlines a lot of his research and really focuses on donor retention, donor loyalty. So those are my favorite fundraising books, the ones I actually keep around. Um, your immediately actionable quick tip. This is something I'm gonna start doing every week. Uh, something you can instantly turn around and do to start doing this. So you obviously need to read more if you're gonna have these books and get this insight. So my tip is to go to your calendar and block out time to do that. You know, are you gonna take a lunch once uh, every two weeks where you just take a book and go to lunch with yourself or go to the conference room and read? Are you gonna block out 20 minutes every morning? What are you gonna to do to make sure you actually read that giant reading stack on your desk or some of these great books? So that's the tip. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, three simple ways you can help us out. Opt in for the Productive Fundraising Weekly Journey. That's our email newsletter format of these videos with a lot of more great content, including curated articles from around the web, free resources, book recommendations. It's all in there. Uh, we jam pack it with value for you. So please subscribe to that. Also give us a like or dislike here on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. If you'd like to dig deeper, uh, we do personalized coaching where we dig into your board and fundraising challenges. Uh, happy to talk more with you uh, about that. A little, little stuck there at the end. So uh, thank you again. Please go forth, serve your community. Thank you for being a great fundraiser.